Hello everybody and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial in which I'm going to show you how we can use the built-in T-Splines modeling environment to sculpt very organic designs like this red chip. Let me show you the T-Spline model. There it is. I will cover most of the basic extrusion and modeling commands, also working with the symmetry and then in this tutorial. I will also then also show you once we are done with the T-spline model, how we are then going to use solid modeling to create a thickness to design and a small hole to drain water, for example. And at the end, trim off the bottom so it's nice and clean. Very good. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, let's get started. Here is the raw demo file. Download link is in the description of this video. And now we have our side view and our front view. So we would like to rebuild this with T-splines. We can go to create form. I will go to the top view. I will start with a plane from center and simply create a plane maybe kind of like this. This is a design that's sculpted, so we don't really have to work with dimensions as much. I set everything to one for the faces, then I click OK. So I will go to Edit Form, Edge Select, bring this one to there. And actually now the interesting thing is we need to sculpt kind of like these flows, ideally as accurately as possible. So this one I can maybe move to there. You see, this is actually already uh, slightly arced. So one there. The trick is not to have too many subdivisions, but as many so we can sculpt what we want. Then, then holding the Alt or Option key. E, this is possibly one f start and end fillet, then comes the long mid section, there's the second fillet, backrest, and maybe one more, and then the end of the backrest. Now we can go to vertex select. We select through the design, push everything kind of like to where we want it to be there. Oh, look at that. No, it's, that matches pretty good. So, and there. One last thing when we did this, what we then have to do is we need to select everything and click on these, um, this icon here. So all the point handles are locked again. So this is actually now kind of okay. We can then go to the edge control, uh, select maybe these two, and I will scale those a little bit. A little bit, I said, not too much, like this. Then this. Why is the rest not scaling the same way? That's probably again because of the CVs, yep, there, there, okay, good. And I can and can go back to this view. So the the goal is now to try to scale these edges so we get like a really nice and smooth flow, for example. There. Yep, this looks pretty pretty nice. And I think here, there, I will scale this to there. This definitely can go up a little bit. This will go in and there a little bit and there a little bit. It's a little bit tedious, but then this way, now we can create a nice, nice flow. Okay, good. The next step what we have to do is, is we will go to the uncrease command and click on this point and that point or edges. And now we have actually the top nicely rounded. 
can go to the side view. This looks also pretty decent. Now we have this stuff. So that's a question how we can model this. Now we need to select the edges and then extrude them, or we can also add a center line and then work on this mid part. Yeah, let's do that first. So we will uh, no, select this, 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 and that. So one half and then go uh, insert edge should be 0.5. That's at the midpoint. Click OK. And with that, we now have the ability to select these edges in side view, push and pull that stuff around nicely. Now you see, same here, I can push this in. And then at the bottom, I will use actually the point and bring this over and bring that one over. And also here, bring that over. This maybe we can move back to there. We can straighten the topology a little bit so it's not too crazy. That's the biggest part. This can go in a little bit. Yeah, let's say like this, beautiful. Select everything. Um, yeah, with point select and there are no irritating points popping up. So no, this is actually a pretty, pretty nice shape. It is, however, not a very stable design. Now, if we would go ahead and give this a thickness, yes, you could sit on it, but the moment you sit down, probably um, the whole thing would come crashing down because it's too thin. I realized also here at that point might need to be a little bit arced. Yeah, okay, good. Perfect. So how do we make this design actually more stable? And that is why we do have this side rim. So you see that looks kind of like equal and then this gets thicker and then to the bottom gets thinner. So it's not too complicated to do. But before we do that, we really want to make sure everything else is perfect. There, uh, maybe there. See, I'm just pushing stuff around. So that's good, because otherwise you will spend years on fine tuning this. Um, okay, hold on. I want that to be more concave, not this ugly convex. And then here it comes. We can select everything um, and I'm going to crease this for a moment. Actually, hold on, sorry. Crease edge. Oh, I can't because that is at the end yet. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, my mistake. Um, we will select everything here one more time and then hold the option or alt key and then we bring that over a little bit. Okay. You see, we created that lip. Uh, these side faces here or edges, which I am selecting right now, those have to go down a little bit there. And actually, They also have to go back a little bit. Cool. Okay. So with wherever we position them, now we we can sculpt basically this sure, side support, shall we call it that way. Well, you notice also uh, our whole design changed a little bit. So I will double click on this and shift double click on that. Go to the right view, 
uh, to see where's everything. So, uh, wait, undo. Mm, I bring this to there. I'm trying to line up everything there. And then I know, okay, here, these two edges. Zoop there. And maybe these two points I bring to there. Same here. There. No. So and here we want that to be a little bit arced. And then we can continue detailing everything. So I will go to my edge selection. So I select all those there and there, and then bring this back a little bit. I could swear I just clicked on that arrow and it didn't move. So there, so not so thick. Okay. Oh, that means, hey, that one here is way too thin, so they can go down. Yeah. Okay. Now you see, it's a lot of moving forward and backwards. That's part of this modeling technology. But the advantage is you can just sculpt so quickly, which is really nice in here. Now this dropped down, we bring this up. And I do think there is a symmetry issue. Oh yeah, there is. And I'm 100% sure this, this sooner or later will happen with some students too. So what do we do in that case? We select one half and Delete it. That's all good. Then we will go to symmetry and we will use the, which one is it? To do the elements of it. I think this one, uh, mirror face internal. No, actually it's this one. Yeah, there and click. Okay, so now this is actually Correct it. By the way, now we can just work on one side. The other side, I think, will follow it all the time. Yep, you see, beautiful. Cool. So I can just decide is this maybe too thick? And here I select all those at the same time. And there, and let's say that will be sufficient. So this is still just a shell, not paper thin. It has no thickness. So that's why we can then go to the solid command and thicken, select this. Based on what direction can we can, I'm going to the inside because I don't want the seat height to go higher, but I also have to pay attention to here, these really tight corners. So maybe I do better go to the outside. Let's say, um, what are we in? We are in centimeters. So two millimeters material thickness okay or three millimeter i mean that's not too much click okay this is the original surface right click we can remove it we then take a look at the sides there's some cleanup that needs to be done uh, here this all looks good so we can then go ahead and say split body that body to be split by this ground plane there we are. There is that thing. We are going to snip off, right click, remove. So it's like 
we put this one on a big sheet of sandpaper and sanded it flat. Yeah, this is better now. Beautiful. Yeah, let's say that thing is going to sit outside. There definitely will get a little bit of wetness so we can go ahead and create a construction plane. I move this one up, let's say here. And then there I will create a sketch, a small circle, two centimeters. Then I will go, um, but yeah, how do we do this? Do we cut this through? Do we project this? I'll just cut it through. Clunk. There. Okay. That means the circle is too far to the back. See how I'm moving this circle. I can kind of like prototype where is the lowest part. That's actually here. I was way, way too far back. So maybe there. Let's go back to that sketch. I want to make sure this is really aligned to the center point. Yeah, this is better. This can work. And we can select this one. 0.5, round this a little bit. Oh, <laughs> no, not 0.5, uh, 0 0.05. Or 0.5, but then you have to type in millimeters. That was the wrong key. Or one millimeter, let's see. Yeah, one millimeter works. There we are. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I would like to go one last check. Right click, edit my T spline. This, this is like very, no, everything is okay. So I wasn't sure if the handles were activated because based on how this is flowing, but everything is correct. Then you can press A, create a nice uh, material for, let's say here, I can use glossy, and drag this one onto it. I have those here selected, so I remove it and go there and we are done. So this was a very quick introduction into how you can sculpt kind of like these types of very organic shapes with T-splines quite easily in Fusion 360.